man, I am so hungry. I can't wait to eat this sandwich. I got my comic book. I got my stock paper. I got my magazine size um, backboard. I got another stock paper at the end. All right, I am so hungry, man. Here I go. Dad, what are you doing? That's a comic book. Oh my God, I for completely forgot. Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of, of comic, comic book, book pressing and cleaning 101. All right, you've cleaned your book and now it's time to press. You just don't put it into a presser though. You have to still prep the actual comic book. What you need is some cardstock and cardstock is more sturdier than regular paper. This is 65 pound cardstock and I use magazine size backboards. You can use regular size backboards if you want to, but I just like using the magazine side uh, backboards. So on the first page of a comic book, you use the very you use the first cardstock, and this is for protection for the comic book. You then look for the very middle of a comic book, which has a staple. You see it right there, and this is where I use a comic book backboard. I mean the magazine size backboard, and I use this uh, for the staple that's right in the middle. You don't want it to press through to the comic book when you're done with your pressing. And the last page of the comic book needs another card stock. So basically you would be done right now, but this specific comic book has an extra stamp in it. It's a digital stamp, but if you don't use protection for this digital stamp, it may possibly press through to the front or back cover of the comic book. So let me show you, and Marvel, this is basically Marvel books. They have digital stamps so you can uh, download a, a copy of this comic book and you see the stamp right there, hopefully. So this needs protection. It needs another cardstock in the back of that page and it needs a cardstock for the front of that specific page. So like I said, this is all protection for the comic book. So now, we are basically done with this comic book sandwich. You have to push the cardstock papers and the backboard papers against the spine of the comic book because you want to keep it as straight as possible. And if you do leave it off of the spine, it can make a mark on the comic book. And like I said, you're trying to defeat that. You're trying to press everything out. You're not trying to press things into the comic book. So we are done with this comic book sandwich. Once again, we use cardstock for the front. We use a uh, giant size or a magazine size uh, backboard for the middle where the staples are. We use two extra cardstocks for the front and back of that digital stamp. And then we use one final cardstock for the back page of this comic book. And now we are ready to press this comic book. Hopefully you like this episode of Comic Book Cleaning and Pressing 101. Until next time, this is Ephraim Passpoint Comics.